Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about hashing. Hashing is a searching technique, right? Suppose there is a file of n records, right? Suppose there is a file which has n records, right? Now, let k is a set of keys which uniquely determine these records in file, right? No two records have same keys, right? One simple searching technique is direct addressing, right? Now see what happens in direct addressing. In direct addressing, a direct address table is maintained, which is an array, right? In which each slot corresponds to a key of set K, right? Now, the slot X which corresponds to key X points to the record whose key is X, right? So what happens in direct address table, right? Suppose there is a key, key X, right? Suppose there is a key X, right? Then in this direct address table, there will be a slot corresponding to this key X, right? And this slot x which corresponds to this key x it points to the record whose key is x right so when we have to access a record whose key is x then what will we do we will access the slot which corresponds to key x in table we will access that slot of table which corresponds to key x and this slot will points to the record whose key is x right another searching technique is hashing right now in hashing it is assumed that file of n records is maintained in memory as a table t Right now, a function h, which is called hash function, is used. Right, it maps the key into memory address of a location in table t. Right, and this address is also called hash address. Right, suppose we have to access a record in a table t whose key is k1 right then we will apply hash function on this key k1 and we will get the memory address of record in table t whose key is k1 right so when we have to access a record in our table t whose key is k1 then we will apply hash function on this key k1 and we will get the memory address of record in table t whose key is k1 right now the value which we get after applying hash function on key k1 is called hash value of key k1 right now now it is possible that two different keys have same hash value for a particular hash function, right? This situation is called collision, right? How we can resolve this problem of collision? This we will study in next tutorial. Now we will study about some popular hash functions. First one is division method, right? And this uh, what we do? We choose a number m, which is larger than the number of keys in set k, right? To minimize the number of collisions, uh, the number m is usually chosen to be a prime number or a number without small divisors, right? Then the hash function h is defined by hk is equal to k mod m, right? Or hk is equal to k mod m plus 1 right here k is a key right if we use uh, this formula 
right? If we use this one formula, then we will get hash addresses to range from 0 to m minus 1. But if we use this formula, we will get hash addresses to range from 1 to m, right? Next is mid square method, right? Now see what happens in mid square method. In mid square method, the hash function is defined by hk is equal to l, where k is a key, right? Now, what happens in it, right? What uh, this hash function h does, right? First, this key k is squared, right? We will get k squared, right? Then, by deleting digits from both ends of k squared, we will get L, right? And it is emphasized that the same position of K square must be used for all the keys, right? Next is folding method, right? Now see what happens in folding method. In folding method, the key K is partitioned into number of parts, K1, K2, K3 and so on up to KR, right? And each part, except possibly the last one, has the same number of digits as the required address, right? Then, hash function uh, h, right? The hash function h is defined by hk, where k is a key, is equal to k1 plus k2 plus k3 plus so on up to kr, right? So, what happens uh, first of all the key is partitioned into a number of parts k1 k2 k3 and so on up to kr then what the hash function does hash function adds these parts together and ignore the carry right so hash function adds these parts right k1 k2 k3 so on up to kr and ignore the carry Right. Sometimes what happens, the even parts like K2, K4 and K6 and so on, they all are reversed before the addition. Right. Now, it will be more clear after this example. Right. How these hash functions work. Suppose there is a company which has 68 employees, right? And a four digit employee number is assigned to each employee, right? It is the primary key in the company's employee file, right? This company's employee file is maintained in memory by table T of 100 memory locations, right? Let L is the set of these uh, memory addresses of the locations in table T, right? And uh, suppose L consists of 100 two-digit addresses like 00, 01, 02, so on up to 99. Now, we will apply different hash functions to each of these employees numbers right each of these four digit employee numbers right these employee numbers are the primary key it means they are the keys they uniquely identify the record of a employee right they uniquely identify the record of an employee right so they all are keys right so we will apply different hash functions on these keys right first is division method right we will choose a prime number 97 right then the hash function h is defined by hk is equal to k mod 97 right here k is the key right so what is happening here what this hash function is doing it is finding the k mod 97 right so here k will be divided by 
97 and what uh, the remainder is left when k is divided by 97 will be the output of this function right so at 3205 when hash function is applied on this key right then this key will be divided by 97 and we will get the remainder 4 right so we will get the memory address or we can say the hash address 0 4 right so when hash function is applied on this key 7148 this number 7148 will be divided by 97 right when it is divided by 97 we will get remainder 67 right so the hash value of this key 7148 is 67 right here hash function is uh, defined as hk is equal to k mod 97 so hash value of key k will be uh, the remainder which is left when key k is divided by 97 right now we will apply hash function on this key 2345 right so this key 2345 when divided by 97 then the remainder 17 is left so the hash value of this key is 17 right now the next is mid square method now see what happens in mid square method first of all the key k is squared when we square this key we will get this value when we square this key we will get this value when we square this key we will get this value right now what this hash function does First of all, uh, the value of key is squared, right? And then some digits from starting and some digits from end of the square are deleted, right? So when we squared this key, we got this number. From this number, we have deleted these three digits from starting and these three digits from end. Then we will got this number 72. So hash value of uh, this key. 3205 is 72 now see this key first of all this key is squared right now when we squared this key we will got this number now we will delete these three digits from starting and these three digits from add then we will get this number 93 right so hash value of this key is 93 now see this key first of all we will square this key right now we will uh, delete two digits from here in this uh, square and three digits from here then we will get this number 99 right as uh, we have uh, already studied that in uh, mid square method right it is emphasized that the same position for k square must be used for all the keys right same position of a squared key must be used for all the keys right so here we have used the same position right here from a right hand side we have deleted three digits in all cases right now next method is folding method in this method first of all the key is partitioned into two parts each part having two digits right we have partitioned the key into two parts uh, each having two digits because uh, we need the addresses of two digits right then we will add these pa uh, parts of a uh, key and when we add the carry will be ignored right now see this key 3205 right it has four digits right so we will partition this key into two parts each having two digits so first part is 32 and second part is 5 right 05 right now we will add them 
after adding them we will get the value 37 so hash value of 3205 is 37 right next key is 7148 it is also a four digit key right so what will we do we will partition it into two parts each having two digits so first part is 71 second part is 48 now we will add them after adding it we will get 119 right so here we have a carry this one right so this one will be ignored so we will get only 19 right so the hash value of this key is 19 right by adding these two parts we get we will get 119 right when we add these two parts we will get 119 here this one is scary so we will ignore it when we ignore it we will get 19 so the hash value of this key is 19 now see this key 2345 right now we will partition it into two parts one is 23 and another one is 45 so when we add them we will get 68 so hash value of this key is 68 right